Today I would like to review Mini Monitor Series 900. It came in a carry box made from leather and it has a shoulder strap so I can put it around my shoulder and carry the unit. It also has foam inside for protection of the unit so I'm happily to say that my unit will be nice and safe in case if I drop it the carry case quite lightweight made from good materials and it also came with a manual where it has all its calibration GM tube sensitivity and also schematics. If we closely look at the unit, you will see that it has straps here and here. It has information about before use and during use, the sensitivity here of the GM tube and power adapter where you can power it without batteries using 12 to 18 volt DC. Do not go over 18 volts because you will risk frying the circuit. What's so special about this unit that it not only detects beta, gamma and x-rays but alpha as well through this micro window. It is underneath this metal mesh made out of aluminium or stainless steel. It is here to protect the micro window because if you damage the micro window you will have to replace the entire tube and it is very expensive to replace. It has annual service where you can return it to with all this information and telephone number in order to change the batteries you will have to untwist this there's a click then you just untwist and here's the batteries it looks something like this and you can do a modification where you, you can pour a battery holder that it takes six times size AA cells. If you have rechargeable batteries you can turn on the switch and it will charge the batteries. But I'm happy to use 9 volt battery. Then to close it you would just close. It's quite stiff here then you just hear gonna hear click. There you go and it cannot twist no more then it's closed. To test the unit, if it works, you will switch it to battery position, then you can see that the battery is okay, then you will switch it to on position and this will allow you to hear beep and then after clicking some and you will know that the unit is working great and if you turn it up to here there's no sound, no alarm or clicking sound. You can set the alarm by twisting this, going all the way, it goes up the scale alarm, but then if you twist it like this, it will go to this scale. And alarm will sound. So now let's test the unit with some samples. Right here I've got a sample of polonium 210 coated in bismuth metal. The polonium 210 only emits alpha particles and should be picked easily with the unit. And we will see that it only detects alpha because this is a pure alpha sample. No betas, gammas or x-rays. Here. 
we will have to get close because alpha particles travel a very small amount in the air. The decay of polonium-210 is quite fast, but it picks up some radiation. And let's now listen to the background. Yeah, it's dropping. So we know it produces alpha. But a quick way to test it is we get a thin, we get paper, and you know that paper will stop alpha and then we test again. Nothing. We take out the paper. And detects. Now let's have a look at some uranium sample. A very hot. I want you to watch the counts as I bring the sample closer. This is autonite, and the alone that we set will activate about here. Quite annoying, so we're gonna set the alarm higher. So radioactive. In order to turn off the unit, you will switch it off position. I would highly advise this unit to someone because it's an amazing detector. It may be quite expensive. I got it for about 160 pounds. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Bye.